Stan Gibalisco here, back in the snowy town of Leed, South Dakota, L-E-A-D, Leed, the home of the Sanford Underground Laboratory for Astronomical Observation. They, maybe they ought to put a meteorological observation station here. We had four feet of snow on the 4th and 5th of October, and we're getting... Uh, Another probably 18 inches overnight tonight. We haven't lost power yet, but the snow is really sticky stuff, and it's stuck to all the wires and everything. You ought to see the tree damage that that storm that they called Atlas. You ought to see the tree damage that that caused, uh, particularly down in Deadwood near the recreation center when I swam there earlier today, much earlier today, <laughs> It was a mess. It looked like a hundred mile an hour wind gusts had ripped through there, but just the weight of that snow and the fully leafed out trees, kind of a sad thing. It's a lot less wooded now. Going to be a, a lot less live wood. I don't know about more dead wood. They're going to clean it out. But the point of this whole video even though I've already spent a couple of minutes on something else, is a book called The Electrician's Trade Demystified. Let me hold that up for you right here. The Electrician's Trade Demystified by David Harris. I just uh, got uh, bought a copy of this book and have found it to be an immensely valuable resource in today's environment where the utility power is no longer very reliable, there's a lot of little tweaks and adjustments I need to make in my house wiring. And of course you want to be according to code everything you do, not just so that you're uh, abiding by the law, as it were, but so that your insurance company will honor their contract should something bad happen to your house. You know, if they find out you've been doing stuff that doesn't meet code and something bad happens, any other thing, flooding, whatever, and they find out what uh, you've got some code violations in your house, they're going to stick you. I can guarantee it. You never really know now anymore whether insurance companies are going to honor their contract even when they should. So this book, it's mainly intended for students who want to become electricians. And believe me, good electricians are in such a position as to command the market if they only show up on time and do a good job. The demand exceeds the supply. This book, published by McGraw-Hill, just came out in September, The Electrician's Trade Demystified, an excellent introduction and review for those of you who would like to get rich, come on out here to the Black Hills of Dakota Territory. Set up shop. Do it right. Show up on time. Do it better than anybody else. You'll make a mint. Maybe I should do that. Stan Gibalisco signing off. Once again back here in Leeds, South Dakota, enjoying all this snow. I need to get some snowshoes, some cross-country skis, a blade for old number seven, my truck, and a snowmobile. And a full a generator to supply the entire house. That ought to set me back about 20 grand. I don't have that kind of money. Well, maybe I should become an electrician, then I will. So long.